it have to start with some spark mm -hmm. to get the fire blazing. But mm -hmm. where there's smoke, there is fire, yeah? Yes, sir. So we gotta keep the fire blazing. Human rights is just for anybody, you know, that's responsible of a responsible age, you know, conduct yourself properly, do what is fair to people, which is amongst things that you will see that you will like for others, yourself, and you know, all them type of things. That's human rights, you know. Human rights is your freedom to live in the best way possible. Human rights is someone being to choose the own way of life. Whether it be through religion, through the way how they live, through their responses to people. But everyone has their own choice on the way how they want to say or do anything. And that is a human right. So I guess human rights is deal with how everybody is living with one another, interacting with one another, respecting one another. You know? Well, my position to me is I don't they have rights, but you don't have a human rights. So it's like human rights. In Barbados, we don't know the rights. Okay, I've been hearing a lot of things mentioned on human rights, right? I was directed through spirit to just let the ones know that I was privileged to sit on the to sit at the symposium that was held in Barbados with the um, Inter-American Commission on Human Rights. Wherever you know a United come in contact with the system in terms of police, defense force, you know, it's always that feeling of you know insecurity because you never know what will happen, what they could do, knowing that in past events, innocent people have been taken away while these people get away scotch free. So of course not, you can't have no good good record in upholding what you would call human rights or defending that position because it was not birthed for that. It was birthed to keep a certain uh, elite status quo in position. It was founded basically to violate the human rights of the poor. That was the that was the whole the whole um, the Royal Barbados Police Force coming into existence because it came out of a slave system. Because they, they say they're here to protect and serve, and they don't, they don't do nothing like that. Discriminate and fake down, never use, for no reason. Harming a lot of people, killing a lot of people, for no reason. Yeah. No part of that can be a good record. Ignorance oftentimes leads to um, unnecessary aggression and, and, and ways of dealing with situations that doesn't help either the police force or the citizens that they're supposed to be helping. Are you cool be to a call for the humanity right? Here, what people want call Little England. Because of lack of human rights, we just better have to transcend. Yeah? But we more know more because we are fighting today. Yeah? And thanks for the brother for the sacrifice. But thanks for the brother to make us wake up. Yeah? Yes. As far as I know, it was last seen in the Cassidy police or interrogated by the mall. Nobody knows what they did, you know? He was like one of the youngsters that was, we would say, on fear from the police and died in the process. One of the many that died in the process. What I heard was that while being pursued by the police, he jumped off a cliff. Uh, I've heard a lot of speculation on it. Honestly, we don't care nothing about people's rights. In the words of our Honorable Chief Justice, 
Mr. Marston Gibson of Barbados. As he sat in that symposium, his words were, if a case with a child can be an international human rights issue, it shows that we can go that route when our human rights in other areas are infringed upon. Anything the police do, right? He can't go against, so it can't be no justice. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's saying order, he all them, he's saying order. You know what I'm saying? Master, he's saying order, he's saying order, he's saying order, he's saying lodge, he's saying everything. If you poor, it doesn't make any sense for you to even think that you're going to get justice in the court. It doesn't make any sense for you to think that you're going to get justice when you go into a police station and they don't know who you are, or they don't know that you, who you're connected to. It, it, it'd be foolish of you to think that, that you living in a system that is going to bring justice to you. The churches, the, the government, um, all the institutions, they are, they are designed with the premise to defend and uphold human rights. The practice now is said totally different. Let me get out of there, say I have some good somebody. No, but I will find transcripts where the markers are going, right? Because I mean, you know, um, there are some police movies that they are being kind of twisted and there's some of the strange. I had my experience. I'm not going on anyone's experience. And from what I've experienced, they lack, right? Um, relation, relation, social relation with people mm -hmm. is very poor. Mm -hmm. Police generally have a problem with communicating with the general public. They even tell right now on the case that was brought to Barbados with the search in the airport with a Jamaican female who came to Barbados. That if there were news on um, education and human love, what they want proclaimed to be human rights, above all of ignorance, that case would have never happened in the first place. I don't want to answer because they want to live. We, as a people in Barbados, we got to get out of this concept that um, we gonna hide everything, we gonna keep everything under the hush hush. Because the more we keep doing that, the more the police will become emboldened, the more they will be continue to kill our children, the more we will be continue to be crying and looking for justice in the court that is not going to give you justice because they care nothing about you. Another person that recently did a mobby, they killed the mobby. They cannot all the resources in Barbie at the snow, right? Kill the mobby now too, right? Another Rastafarian take a look at his system. Okay, based yeah. on this situation. Stephen B. Poe, Sean Bell, you know, homeless. Mm -hmm. Take a look at his system. Mm -hmm. Truly, you know the world of Barbados police force is just looking for a paycheck. Basically, most of them are not properly educated. I think I can call later on and kill me for saying so, but it's good.